This video is sponsored by Microsoft PowerPoint. Now we come to, yes, technical terms. I, I like to use the official terms. Um, this is probably, no, it is. It is my least favorite feature in all of InDesign. I hate this feature. Adobe has evangelists that go around telling you about the cool new features, asking you to use them and try them out. I'm like, please don't use this. I'm like the anti-evangelist. Um, the idea is good, okay? This concept of a shared hyperlink destination. So if you have one URL that you have to use in 59 different places in your file, wouldn't it make sense to just have one hyperlink and share that with all the different places? It's an efficiency thing, and it's great. There's absolutely no problem with using shared destination hyperlinks within a single document, that's, that's whole. But they took it too far. Uh, they played with fire. They gave us the ability to borrow destinations from other InDesign files and use them in a different file. And that functions a lot like a linked image. So the, the status of the hyperlink is dependent on InDesign being able to find that source document at all times. So if that document gets moved, deleted, renamed, anything else, nasty happens to it, your hyperlinks break. And they can break in a really nasty, unfixable way that I will show you. So let's open one of those. So under the three movie posters here, I have three hyperlinks. These are all shared destinations to different documents. So if I click on one of them and go to the hyperlinks panel, I can see that you know, two out of the three are good here. If I double click on one that's good, I can see that this is linked to a shared destination, so it's not to, not to a regular URL, it's a shared destination, and that destination lives in this document, PoseidonAdventure.indd. Now, look what InDesign actually did. It's so dependent on that source document that it opened it in the background without me even asking it to. Like, as soon as I was gonna work, do anything with that hyperlink, it's like, oh, wait, 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 I gotta get that source document here. Um, so that kind of tells you it's really, really dependent on that. Um, I wrecked this hyperlink, this one for Tidal Wave, just by changing the name of the source document so it can't be found now. And we get the usual uh, problem scenario, that familiar red stop sign with the question mark telling you that you know, something is, is missing. Okay, I'm brave, I'll double click here and see what I can do about that. Now InDesign gives you a little bit of a warning and it's kind of like a too gentle warning. It just says, well, you can't find the source document. You might not want to do anything with this until you can find that document and restore it. But I'm dumb. I'll just click OK. And I'll poke around here and say, hmm, what's going on here? Now at this point, look what happened over in the hyperlinks panel. Our little red stop sign has changed to a red flag. Red flags are very, very, very bad in InDesign. Okay, what this means is if I press return, enter, or click OK, I will destroy this hyperlink forever. And you cannot get it back. Even if I re rename that document, restore it exactly as it was, this will stay broken, and I'll have to recreate it. No big deal if it's one or two, but what if it's 100? You're not gonna like that. So that's why I caution people, be very, very careful about using shared destination uh, hyperlinks. The question? question? Yeah, the question is, is there a way to make sure shared destination is not the default option? Don't I wish. No, <laughs> there is not. Question? Yes, the, sorry. The, the question was, is there a way to make that not the default? Make it just link to a regular URL by default instead of a shared destination? That's another reason why I hate this feature. No. <laughs> it's, it's on and it's going to stay on. So you just have to watch out for it. Um, in terms of converting shared destination hyperlinks to regular URLs, um, there's one tip actually two tips that I can offer you with that. If you have a bunch of them that you want to get rid of, there's a script by Keith Gilbert, who hates shared destinations as much as I do, uh, but he can do something about them. Uh, so he wrote a script to remove them all and convert them to regular URLs, and the link to that script is, is in the handout. So that's what you can do if you have a whole mess of them. If you just have one or two, like here, you can um, do them one at a time manually. The trick, if you're gonna do that, is before you edit it, just select it like I have here, and you see how the URL appears at the top of the hyperlinks panel? Go ahead and select that and copy it first. You really wanna do that because when you 
edit the hyperlink, you open the dialog box, and you say, I want to change from a shared destination to a URL. How hard could that be? The URL is right here. I can see it in two places. All gone. So InDesign very helpfully erases it. And now you have to go back to your web browser, find the hyperlink, copy it, paste it in. But not you, because you knew before opening this dialog box to copy that from the top of the panel. So now you can just paste it in, click OK, and go about your day. OK? So share destination hyperlinks. Uh, be very careful with them. Uh, if you have some that have gone missing, don't touch them uh, until you can restore the source document. Hopefully, you can restore the source document. And you remove them with Keith's script or just do them uh, a la carte. And again, I, I also do want to be fair. There is no problem with shared destinations within a document. Okay, if you just want to use them in a single document, fine. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.